hello everyone so today i am going to uh, improve this rain particle system that we uh, have already implemented by reworking on this uh, splash drops so earlier we used some texture based effect for the splash uh, when the rain drop hits the ground but now i have replaced them with some actual particles so they just uh, splash some particles from the hit point and they drops back so yeah and also uh, that helped me to get this uh, weird drops that appear around the character uh, we had that problem previously but now it's not visible it's not there because of this newly introduced splash just so yeah let's see how to do this today So uh, this is our current rain thunder system and here you can see this splash It's just a texture that enlarges in the location that we hit The that the rain drop hits the floor. So I thought of replacing that as a texture With some actual particles so that they actually moves up like a splash and drops down so that we may get some better look into this mostly especially because in surfaces like this uh, it looks kind of weird so yeah so this is the particle system that we have so here we have this rain drops first and then uh, here we generate this event and from that event we get the location and spawn these splashes in the same location and the ripple so let me just disable the splash and duplicate it with ctrl d and here i think i have this m rain material yeah let me enable this again and uh, let's rename this uh, splash drops and assign that selected material M ray. It looks like this now, but this is not the way that we need it to appear. So, first um, let's scale it down maybe like two to four okay then let's add some velocity in a cone not a linear in a cone so basically we it should have a velocity upwards so something like this oh sorry the cone angle is 45 i think that might work see and it only has a velocity so it only goes up it should drop down as well so here i'll add gravity oh it only goes down now so maybe we need some faster speed how about 250 yeah that's good so instead of uh, having only one uh, one drop going out of a hit location we might need a couple so here is phone number what if I make it like five right okay mm. so maybe not exactly five 
can we randomize this no ah random is phone number five two two okay now in order to make them look like actual raindrops so we might do something like this mm. let's add the uh, scale sprite size this is uh, let me reset this scale factor and so here I'm I only want to increase change the y scale only so that when it moves up it may become elongated and then becomes like a drop so make vector and then here a curve so perhaps something like Let's try this way and x should remain 1 y should actually also remain 1 and then it should become longer here so maybe 3 okay and it should orient to the moment so velocity aligned right now it looks more like mm, raindrops but i think it's too big so so this is only scaling um, initially it's either 4 or 2 or 4 so what if I make it like 0.5 or 1 okay so now it doesn't look that weird in these angled surfaces One more thing here, let's make the velocity random. So, random range float 150 to 250. I think that works better. Ah, one more thing maybe we should reduce the weight like maybe a bit transparent does it make a difference I think so otherwise it kind of looks like snow so yeah uh, wait to compare let's enable the splash the image splash also here and see how it looks so yeah uh, if you want you can keep both but I think just having just the drops is maybe better in the distance it looks really good when we have the image let me disable and see oh why did it become dark play the game and see okay when I play the game it became all right distance also wait what caused it to be dark suddenly
where is the rain? Okay, I'm not sure what exactly happened there because when I just disabled this flash, the rain completely turned off for some reason. Okay, now it's back. All right, so yeah, in the distance also with these small drops, it looks fine, I think. So yeah, anyway, I'm gonna stop this episode right here. So project files will be available here for the download in the Patreon page, link would be in the description below. And if you like to support my work, you can get the membership of the Patreon Club. See you in another episode. Bye.